Get ready to be amazed when Euclid saw for the first time. In the field of physics, there's a big puzzle called dark matter, which is a hidden substance responsible for most of the mass in the universe. Scientists have been trying to understand what dark matter is and how it behaves for a long time. So far, they haven't directly seen dark matter, but they have deduced its existence from its gravitational effects on visible matter, like stars and galaxies. However, not everyone agrees that dark matter is real. Some other theories propose that we don't actually need dark matter, and that the observed phenomena can be explained by changing the laws of physics or gravity. These theories suggest that dark matter is just an idea people made up, and they believe we should reconsider how we perceive the universe. To settle this debate once and for all, we need a way to test whether dark matter is real or not. Scientists are still searching for conclusive evidence to determine the truth about dark matter. Do you want to know whether dark matter is real or not? Hey there, space enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel, Space Getaway, on another incredible journey across the cosmos. Today we have something truly extraordinary in store for you, a once-in-a-lifetime encounter that changed the course of history. Brace yourself for the moment when Euclid witnessed something extraordinary for the very first time. Are you ready to witness the awe-inspiring spectacle that left Euclid completely spellbound? Keep watching and you'll be blown away by what awaits. There's a new space telescope called Euclid. It just started working, and its main goal is to study the dark universe, which is made up of mysterious things called dark matter and dark energy. These substances make up around 95% of the universe's mass and energy, but we still don't understand them. Euclid wants to learn more about them by mapping their distribution and evolution throughout cosmic history. By doing this, it will help us check if our current theories about physics and gravity are right, or if we need to change them. The mission was launched by the European Space Agency on July 1st, 2023. Dark matter is a hidden type of matter that uses its pull to keep galaxies and groups of galaxies together. On the other hand, dark energy is a strange force that makes the universe expand faster as time goes on. Euclid, by studying these things, aims to find answers to big questions about the universe's beginning, changes, and destiny. Euclid has two powerful cameras on its board, one named VISS, which captures visible light, and another called NISP, which captures near-infrared light. These cameras can take pictures of billions of galaxies spread across a vast portion of the sky, covering a distance of 10 billion light years. This means they can observe how the universe appeared when it was much younger, just a few billion years old. By analyzing the shapes, positions, colors, and distances of these galaxies, Euclid can create a map illustrating how dark matter and dark energy have evolved and destroyed dispersed throughout cosmic history. To function, these cameras utilize different types of detectors that can capture various forms of light. The VISS camera operates similarly to digital cameras and smartphones to record visible light. On the other hand, the NISP camera records near-infrared light, which is not visible to our eyes, but can penetrate dust and gas in space. It has a special feature that splits light into its spectrum, allowing it to measure the red shift of galaxies, showing how much their light has been stretched by the expanding universe. This helps estimate the distance and speed at which galaxies move away from us. And now here's a little cosmic humor to keep the excitement going. Why did the mathematician go on a space vacation? To find the perfect angle for stargazing, of course. <laughs> I know, I'm bad at making jokes. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, Space Gateway, and give this video a thumbs up. Now let's not waste any time and dive right into it. 
These cameras have many advantages compared to other space telescopes. They have a large field of view covering more sky in less time, high resolution to see faint objects and details, and a wide wavelength range to observe various galaxies and stars. However, they face challenges dealing with high radiation levels, low temperatures, and the need for careful calibration to correct for distortions and errors caused by their optics and environment. Euclid's cameras were tested and calibrated pre-launch on Earth in vacuum chambers, exposed to stars and galaxies, measuring sensitivity, alignment, focus, and distortion. Post-launch, they faced more challenges. After launch, the cameras were also tested and calibrated using real observations from space. They took images of known stars and galaxies as reference points, captured images of empty sky regions for background subtraction, and used different exposure times and filters for analysis. These tests encountered difficulties due to the complexity and variability of the instruments, such as accounting for temperature effects on detectors and optics, correcting shifts in pointing or focus from vibrations or thermal expansion, and removing stray light or cosmic rays that could contaminate images. On the positive side, the tests confirmed that the camera's detectors and optics were working as expected, producing sharp and clear images that matched simulations and predictions. Overall, the cameras demonstrated readiness and capability to achieve their scientific goals. Euclid's cameras were tested and calibrated before they took their first pictures from space. These images, shared with the public on July 28, 2023, showed stunning views of stars and galaxies in the universe. One of the pictures from the VISS camera displayed a part of the sky with around 100,000 stars and galaxies. The colors in the image indicated different levels of brightness, with blue being the brightest and red being the faintest. This picture had a resolution of about 0.1 arc seconds, enabling it to capture objects as close as 0.1 seconds of arc, or approximately 500 meters from a distance of 10 billion light years. What's remarkable is that Euclid's VISS camera could capture much more detailed and clear images images compared to previous space telescopes like Hubble and James Webb. It had both high resolution and a wide field of view, which made it perfect for mapping the large-scale structure of the universe. The second picture taken by the NISP camera showed a portion of the sky with about 200,000 stars and galaxies. The colors in this picture represented different types of light, with blue being the shortest wavelength and red being the longest. The picture had a resolution of about 0.1 arc seconds, slightly lower than the VISS picture. This picture was special because it demonstrated how versatile and sensitive the NISP camera was was. It could capture images that were wider and included redder light compared to those taken by other space telescopes like Hubble or James Webb. For example, Hubble could observe near-infrared light up to 1.6 micrometers in wavelength, while James Webb could observe up to 5 micrometers, and Euclid could observe near-infrared light from 0.9 to 2 micrometers, covering a wide range of galaxies and and stars. Euclid's initial images only hinted at the space telescope's immense potential. However, with its cutting-edge technology, Euclid aims to explore the dark universe further, providing unprecedented observations that promise groundbreaking research and unraveling cosmological mysteries that have puzzled scientists for generations. Euclid's mission aims to reveal insights about the universe's origin, growth, and fate by studying dark matter and dark energy, which play crucial roles in shaping the universe's structure and expansion rate. Understanding these elusive components is vital for grasping the fundamental forces governing the cosmos. 
Euclid's advanced technology in space provides accurate data on celestial objects, overcoming challenges from Earth's atmosphere and exploring distant galaxies and clusters, revolutionizing our cosmic understanding. Euclid's contributions are not confined to theoretical astrophysics, but also extend to practical implications for humanity's future. The insights gained from comprehending dark matter and dark energy could have far-reaching consequences for our understanding of the universe's ultimate fate, as well as potential implications for space exploration and colonization. To achieve its ambitious objectives, Euclid will engage in collaborative efforts with other ground-based and space-based observatories. The synergy of data and observations from multiple sources will enhance the overall comprehension of the universe's secrets, leading to new and exciting discoveries. With each new image captured and analyzed by Euclid, the scientific community eagerly anticipates the unfolding of the cosmic mysteries that have captivated human curiosity for eons. Euclid's scientific journey promises to unravel the intricacies of the universe, unlocking profound insights into the essence of existence itself and enriching our understanding of the vast cosmos that envelops us. And that's a wrap, folks! What do you think of Euclid's incredible space escapade? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you crave more mind-blowing space-related content, check out the video on your left. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Space Gateway, to join us on our next cosmic adventure. Make sure to press the bell notification icon to never miss an upload from us. See you next time. Until then, keep exploring, and may the wonders of the universe continue to leave you in awe.